are sons and you are if you are adopted as sons then you're no longer of men having neither beginning of days nor end of life what does that mean beginning of days you did not just begin in your at your mother's womb did you know where you began you began back there in the beginning in the logos My of god, god. <laughs> When that anointing comes down to you, that's just as it came down to Shem, to many other patriarchs. But Shem was the most epitome of this anointing for Melchizedek. If it comes down on you, then you do not just begin at your mother's womb. You're beginning, when you read John 1, 1, you can see yourself there. You don't have any end of life. Who doesn't? Who, who wants to have no end of life? Raise your hands. One. Who wants to live forever? Raise your hands. Who doesn't want to go to hell? Raise your hands. Who doesn't want to go to hell? Doesn't want. Who don't, who, who don't, who don't want to go to hell? Say amen. amen. I hope you understand what I'm saying. If you have an end of life, then you're just carnal. You're just on this earth. And that's the story of Hebrews chapter 7. Here, men that die, those are carnal men. Those are local priests. But this kind of priesthood God is showing is an eternal priesthood. The priesthood of Christ, the priesthood of His bride. Take note of this. Made like unto the Son of God. Would you want to be made like unto the Son of God? Do you want to be made like unto the Son of God? First John chapter 3. Open it up. Open up your Bibles. How many minutes? Uh, second 15, third 15. Third 15. Okay. First John chapter 3. Open it up. I'd like for any one of you to read. One. Oh, no Bible again. Who will have compassion over this? Why don't you come together? Behold, what manners of love the Father hath bestowed upon us, that we should be called the Son of God, therefore the word knoweth us not because it knew him. Beloved, now we are the sons of God, and that not yet appear what we shall be. But we shall, uh, but we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as. Let's all say, we shall be like him. We shall be like him. Those who want to be like him, say the Lord. We shall be like him. We shall be like him. Do you want to be like Jesus Christ? Amen. Then, you are to be made into the Son of God, like Melchizedek, who, whomever the anointing of big Melchizedek came down to in the Old Testament. And, if you are made like unto the Son of God, you abide a priest continually. Say it alongside me. You abide, you abide a priest continually. You are a priest. Amen. It's not just the pastor or the minister or the worker. That is the past. That is the traditional ministry. We are now living in the end times. We are supposed to be in the progressive ministry. It's not no longer now just the minister. That's what others wanted to, right? They want the old ways. It's no longer just the minister who will intercede. Each and every one of you will intercede. Those who agree, say amen. Amen. Very few. <laughs> if you understand, do you understand it? Say amen. 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 Each and every one of you have this calling from God. You have an oath. This oath is the revelation in these last days. The oath that you are called to be priests. The sons and daughters of God to be priests. Amen. When you are priests, you are to minister unto others. Yes, 
You're not just to pray, but you're supposed to pray also. I know not most of you are not most of you are not pray, are prayerful to others. Much less ask about their prayer request. You have to go around houses, along among prayer rent. Do you have any problem? Can I pray for you? Do you have any prayer request? Can I lay my hands on you? Do you have any sickness? Not just that. As a priest, you also share the word of God. As Melchizedek brought forth bread and wine, you bring bread and wine. Oh, should I always uh, treat them with a snack? Not maybe that. You treat them with the word of God. You share whatever revelations you learn, not just from church, in your households, in your cell groups. Hey, uh, please submit the... Uh, maybe I can ask someone to read this for me. Brother Joseph. Get a microphone and collect this. Or brother, up the bigger Please hold this. Hold this. One. So, uh, I asked someone there to collect the papers and read the questions for me. So, uh, and prepare a mic in the back. Now, back to what I was saying. We can go on and on, but the time is so short. If you're without father, you're without another. As in as much as that without an oath, he was made priest. Oath is revelation. Uh, could you get a mic and read for me? Uh, could you go back, Sister Regine, First John chapter one, verse twelve. No, sorry, sorry, it's not First John. John chapter one, verse twelve. John chapter one, verse twelve. A while ago, you already opened it up. So. If you are sons of God, you intercede, you share. 112, 112. You stand in the gap. There are brethren here who are not regularly availing of counselings in hukum sessions. Then you network with them. You get their problems, you get their situation, even if they don't seem to have any problem. They already have a problem in that, that they're not active in the world, they're not active in ministering to others. You network with them. And you ask, uh, is there, if they're not doing anything, you could give them something to do. What are priests doing? They are helping the high priest. It's not just some ritualistic prayer, they minister to everyone. It's the Levites are a tribe they are a community they are a family of priests the Melchizedek priesthood you can be a priest not because of just lineage just because you receive an oath will you receive the oath of God will you receive his calling many are called but few are chosen that is the oath of God as many read alongside with me, this is my last verse. But, but again, but, but as many as received him, him to them, he gave him power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. Do you want to receive that power? The power of an endless life. After open up screen, after the similitude of Melchizedek, similitude or power of an endless life, was he made, but not made after the law of carnal commandment, but after the power of an endless life. Okay, please read the questions. Please submit your questions to Brother Rabra. Is it the fourth, Brother Eric? Fourth. You know, Father. Oh, I try to write your name, so receive blessings. We're well, gonna pray for you. Your questions will be put here. And I hope someone in the Chronicle Department will post the questions. That's what like the previous brother Joey has been doing. Okay. Every seven three. I don't know how I can be now. No end life. Dibapo Dapo Nama Namatay Naman po si Melchizedek. 
without uh, without father, mother, the beginning to end of life means it is God and putting His anointing on the believer. Yes, the Old Testament type died, but he received that anointing. The same as we are. We also die. Amen. Do you believe we can still die? Amen. But do you believe you will live again? Amen. If you die, do you have the confidence in your heart that you will be raised again with Christ? Amen. Now let's talk about our eternal security. It's all connected. Who has that confidence? Raise your hand. Very few. Now, who wants to have that confidence? Raise your hand. Amen. Who wants to be raised to life together with Christ? Who wants to live again? To be His priest forever? Very few. <laughs> you don't understand my question? Who wants to be saved? Raise your hands. Yes. Okay. Maybe many others don't understand. So I hope those who raise your hands minister to the ones. Set them up for sharing. Okay? Make, make them understand the word. If you desire to be raised up alongside with Christ, then, Brother Rab Rab, that is how also it will take place. He did he die? Yes, but he will be raised again. So, while you are living here on this life, you fulfill that role. Like what he did. And you have that promise, one day, you will do that forever. Because if you don't do that forever, you will never receive your glorified bodies. You will never have the power of an endless life. The power... Uh, read alongside with me. Who? Read. Is made not after the law of carnal commandment. Carnal commandment is the tradition of history. Again, but after... After the power... Okay, together, power. Power of an endless life. Who wants to have power of an endless life? Say amen. Amen. So, that is the reason. You can still die right now, but you have that promise. You have that hope. Submit your papers. Uh, Siyem po ba'y kilala, kilala yan si, kilala niya si Abraham? Yes. Um, he doesn't uh, know him individually. He knows all of them are his children. You're talking about Shem to Abraham. It's not a family reunion. He knows of him only through ministry. Oh, this is the person I'm supposed to anoint. But as family, no. Because all of them are his family. Let me add something else. When you go to your family, are you just after family reunion? Or in your heart, there's a burning desire for you to share this revelation? If you don't have the burning desire, then you're still after the carnal commandment of death. If you have this burning desire, then you have the anointing for the power of an endless life. Now, how will I have that? You just desire. That's how you receive. That's what the denominations uh, become stereotyped and saying, accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. Receive Him in your life. And I will connect this. True repentance. Very repentance. True receiving of Jesus Christ, the, His Holy Spirit, is the desire for His truth, for His Word. You desire to share the truth. Okay, Brother Rambo. So, later... Even after self grouping, look for some reverence. Interact with them. Talk about, ask about doctrines. Share what you think they don't know. Okay? The story is said. A classic, a classic of old, old, old. What kind of old? A classic of old to you, that's a verse 20. What kind of old was in verse 20? I said a while ago, it's God's call in your life do you read you have you noticed that calling it doesn't have to be some supernatural spirit you just look at your heart when i speak in this word do you feel that conviction in your heart that's the oath of god calling you he has this promise he wants to give you eternal life 
He wants to call you into the ministry. He wants you to be his priest, his royal priesthood. Number two. 